up guys John back here with another video and today we're gonna to be looking at the Dapson DBS 1300 sorry about the loud noise in here I have a couple fans on while I'm also doing a draw test on this guy 1210 watts it's at 30 percent right now it's been running for about a good over a half hour now it's actually got a kilowatt meter running it right now so I've had this unit for going on three months now and I've been wanting to make a video on it and after a lot of testing a lot of doing certain things with it and you know just trying to figure out how good of a unit this thing really is just because the unit seemed like a really good unit but there wasn't a lot of pretty much reviews on it there wasn't a lot of people talking about it I, I don't know if this is a newer company I'm not really sure but after I did some research I found out that it actually is a really good unit and for the money I mean it's really hard to beat so let's start right there so this unit right here I got it on prime sale it wasn't prime day it was just a sale on uh, Amazon Prime and I paid f like six hundred twenty dollars for it It originally retails MSRP for about eight hundred eight hundred and fifty dollars uh, this is a 1330 watt hour unit which is a pretty good amount of power and it is expandable up to 9.6 I believe kilowatt hours now that would include running two DBS 1300 units in parallel then you would have to run I believe it's four of their expansion batteries which would connect I believe it's on this side right here so these are the ports right here for the expansion batteries and it's got two ports on this unit so you can run two expansion batteries on here and you can run a parallel unit with this port on this side right here it's got four AC outlets and obviously you can tell in the front it's got three USB A's one quick charge which I believe was 18 watts then it's got three USB type C's 30 watt I'm sorry 30 watts and then you got a hundred watt uh, it's not in and out it's just it's just out only you can't charge this device from the USB ports at all uh, and then of course you got your cigarette lighter and you got a couple barrel port connectors right here which are 4 amp turn on my flashlight make it a little brighter so then you got a flashlight on this side which is a 2 watt light it's pretty bright I'm not a fan of this style of light though like my blue eddy has the same style of light this one's diffused which is kind of nice so it's not going to be as direct of a spotlight but it's still more on the spotlight side and if you're trying to light up an area that's pitch black I mean it works for sure but if you want it to light up a whole living room for example it's not really well for that because it's just too direct of a light so it's kind of good to have it I mean I'd rather have it than not have it for sure but I'd prefer it to be more of a, a long a diffused light that the other power stations that I have have and I will make videos on those coming up soon so but I just wanted to kind of make a video on this guy so it's a 1200 watt pure sine wave inverter now I've tested this unit I've done probably 10 draw tests on it and it's been pretty much the same amount every single time uh, most of the time I usually test it at about 800 watts I don't really ever do the 1200 watts that I'm doing right now this is pushing this unit to its its brink right here um, and most of the time it pushes about 1124 watt hours which is you know about 84 percent of the 1330 that they claim is the the amount on you know their marketing so that was the most I was able to really get out of the unit now like I said I haven't done this before where I'm actually pushing it at 1200 watts um, now like I said it's rated for 1200 watts the one thing I would say that's really cool about this unit is I've tested this unit all the way upwards of 1300 watts um, sometimes 1380 and it, it has a very long cutoff I mean like it allows you a lot of leeway and I've never tested it to where I've ran it consistently at 1300 watts, but I've ran it at you know 1287 watts for minutes, and it does not overload. So I don't know how that's possible, but it is. And right now, when I first started this test, it was hovering around 1280 watts for the first 15 minutes, and nothing happened. So you got a lot of leeway with this unit, which is nice. Most units, as soon as it gets like 20 watts over, it cuts it off, and you're done. Uh, now this is a great unit overall like I said I can't I really have nothing bad to say about it. the only negative thing I wish I could change on this unit is the solar power so this unit only allows 400 watts of solar now you can combine it with 
AC and solar to get a combined 1400 watts, which is nice, but if you, if you had just solar to charge it with, you can only charge it at 400 watts, 60 volts, which is mediocre to say the least, but outside of that, I mean, it's really been a great unit. I mean, it competes with the Blue Eddies, the, you know, the Go Zeros, um, Jackeries, all those companies out there, EcoFlow, it, it, it really performs just as good. And this is a perfect example. So this has been 1200 plus watts for, let's look at the kilowatt meter now. Let's see what this shows. So we're at 897 watt hours. And it's been running this for almost 44 minutes. That's a very efficient system. Now the unit's saying that we will get about 20 more minutes runtime out of this exact wattage. So I haven't got the full reading yet, but I will update that at the end of the video. I'm pretty confident that this thing is going to be like 90, uh, 90 plus percent efficient, I would say. I've been doing the test on it and I've, get, I've been getting around 84%. That's at a lower wattage though, so I'm not going to be surprised if this thing actually pushes over 90% efficiency. So I will update this video with the, the ratings and whatever I got from it at the very end of it. Uh, it's got a very nice display as you can tell, it shows your output, your input how much time is left, all your Wi-Fi indicators, which, yep, this unit does have Wi-Fi, which is nice. You can control it from your app. You can turn it on and you can turn it off. Um, or you can't turn it back on, though, once you turn it off. That's one of the only things I really dislike about not just use this unit, but pretty much all of them. Once you turn it off, that's it. And now I started this test with the unit being at almost 88 degrees or almost, almost 90 degrees, I should say. And I, shame on me, I should have let it cool off a little bit longer, but I didn't, so I hope I don't degrade the batteries too bad, but um, it's right now, the temperature control on this thing is very well regulated. I mean, it's been on for, like you said, saw 40 plus minutes, and it's at 117 degrees right now, which is pretty unbelievable. It's pushing out a ton of hot air on this side. It's got two fans. It's got your inlet over here, two fans on this side, two fans on this side, so you got four fans total. but. Yeah, I mean, all the import, inputs work perfectly fine. I've tested this thing, like I said, for over three months, and I have nothing but good things to say about it. So I'm really curious to see what this rating is going to be once it's done with this discharge, and uh, I will definitely report back to you. But yeah, Dapson DBS 1300, 1330 watt hour unit. Um, make sure you guys like, subscribe. I will have future videos, future testing. I'm planning on getting the parallel connection with this unit, another one, plus four batteries. So I will definitely have more videos to come. But make sure, like I said, like, subscribe, share. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace. What's up, guys? John back here. So a uh, follow-up to that video yesterday that I did uh, make, uh, the, the final test on that whole setup was uh, just under 1,100 watt-hours. Now, I wasn't the happiest about that, but the thing I was very happy about was that it ran for 90, oh, I'm sorry, 54 minutes out of 60 minutes. So uh, 60 minutes would have been 100% efficient. I got 54 minutes out of that, which is 90% efficient. So the kilowatt reading wasn't as good. It was 83%, but that was 90%. So overall, great unit like i said can't can't complain about it can't rave about it enough and make sure if you guys are interested in looking at one that's one of the top companies that you look at you'll save good money and you'll have an awesome running system so catch you guys on the next one